We are back with a Fox News alert, an update in the case of Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher, whose rank was restored by President Trump. After being accused and eventually acquitted of so called war crimes last July. Now, new reports claim top military officials threatened to resign if the Navy was not allowed to conduct an administrative review to take away his trident to determine if Gallagher could remain a SEAL, something the Navy secretary he now denies. Chief Petty Officer Eddie Gallagher joins us now, along with U.S. Army veteran and Nine Line Apparel CEO Tyler Merritt, who served with Gallagher and has been helping with his cause. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here this morning. Thanks for having us on, Pete. So, Eddie, you know, you're, you've, you've lived in the middle of this. You saw the president's tweet. Uh, he, ultimately, he uh, allowed you to get your rank back. You reported back to duty. Um, react to everything that's going on right now. You know, it just keeps getting more and more unreal. Um, the, you know, I got got the president's tweet on Wednesday um, that saying he's going to restore he's, your trident. Yes, he, he's and not being taken away from exactly. You. And I'm overjoyed that he stepped in again as being the leader that he is. Um, but at the same at the same token, I it's a, I just get a feeling of embarrassment for my community that Admiral Green is letting the ego get the best of him at this point um, and. He's trying to take my trident because it's it's all about retaliation. So you were you were found guilty on one charge, taking a photograph. Yes. So Admiral Green, the head of the Navy SEALs, is saying we're going to take you to an administrative board. We want to take your trident away. Now his boss <clears throat> is the Secretary of the Navy, Richard Spencer. Yep. Richard Spencer has said he there were reports that he wanted to resign. Now he's backing away from that. Here, I want you to react to what the Navy Secretary had to say uh, yesterday. Listen. Can you confirm or do you want to comment on this uh, story that, that you were um, threatening to resign uh, from your post if the Navy is not allowed to um, <laughs> sort out its own process uh, around um, the Navy SEAL who the president would like to promote? Contrary to popular belief, I'm still here. I did not threaten to resign. Um, but uh, let us just say that we're here to talk about uh, external threats and Eddie Gallagher is not one of them. Eddie Gallagher is not one of them. He went on to say the good order and discipline is also following the orders of the commander in chief. Now, while a tweet is not an order, as you mentioned, his intent quite clear. Why is the Navy still going after you when they know what the president wants to happen? This is all about ego and retaliation. This has nothing to do with good order and discipline. They could have taken my trident at any, any time they wanted. Now they're trying to take it after the president restored my rank and after we just filed an IG exposing all of the corruption that's been going on during my case, starting with crying Craig Miller all the way up to Admiral Green. Um, and just recently, we've come up with more evidence that we'll be exposing next week that the Secretary of the Navy was actually meddling in my case and trying to get organizations not to support me while I was incarcerated. Wow. We'll, we'll get to that in a moment. Tyler, as an Army captain who served alongside Eddie, how do the rank and file view this? Because you've got the brass in the Pentagon reacting. But how are the guys who've been a part of the wars for the last 18 years seeing this? Yeah, the real war fighters are disgusted. You know, if you're trying to encourage people to join the military, you're trying to encourage people to join the most elite forces, this is a, a perfect case and example of how you can destroy that recruitment. You have an individual here who served for over 20 years who just wants to leave the military honorably. He wants to leave with this trident, and he could do so right now. He's filed all of that paperwork. There is absolutely no reason from a commander's standpoint to go against the commander's intent, the commander-in-chief's intent. President Trump has said very clearly that we need to get back to business, and business is warfighting. This is persecuting a warfighter who's done an untold amount of good for this country, doing bad things to bad people is part of that. There was a picture that was taken, but there's 12 other individuals in that picture. And for whatever reason, the only people that are singled out are Eddie Gallagher and a few other people who are not even in that picture. So other people being prosecuted, whose tridents may be taken away, you believe it's because they've supported you in your case. They've testified on your behalf. That's exactly what's going on. Both of these SEAL officers testified for me during the trial and, and calling, they called these mean girls out for lying. And now they're being retaliated against by the command because they're going against the grain. So today <clears throat> you're still facing the Navy. You're still facing a potential board, even though the president tweeted it. What would your message be to the president? What would uh, about your case? Uh, you want to retire. What would you say? You know, I just want to retire peacefully with with uh, all the honors that I've earned, um, get back to my family. And, you know, I don't know how many times I thank the president. He keeps, you know, stepping in and doing the right thing. Um, and I just want to I want to let him know that the rest of the SEAL community 
is not about this right now. They, they all respect the president, and what the admiral is doing, com showing complete insubordination, is not the good example of uh, good order and discipline. When you say the SEAL community, you're saying the guys you've served with yes. have your back in this. They, they appreciate what the president's doing. Oh, they definitely do. Yeah, I, I go to, those are the guys when I go back to work, they're coming up, giving me hugs. They're glad to see everything's working out in my favor. It's the higher echelon, the upper brass, who are the ones who are trying to put their thumb on me. I just didn't know that Navy SEALs gave hugs. <laughs> bro, bro hugs. <laughs> bro hugs. Yeah. Uh, but Tyler, what have you been doing? Give, fill us in briefly on how you've been helping on Eddie's case. Yeah, we, we got a phone call uh, about uh, six months ago from uh, the former police commissioner, Bernie Carrick, saying, hey, is there any way that we can help out? So uh, besides raising funds to help with the legal defense, uh, we've been able to kind of dive into this case and use our voice and, and promote within our community what's going on. Because in the beginning, it was you're supporting you know, a, a brand an apparel brand is supporting someone who's accused of killing a child. We've all come to find out that that was a false narrative. Yes. And while there's other brands out there like Nike who are supporting people like Colin Kaepernick, a man child, we choose our brand ambassadors who are actual heroes. That's why we're extremely excited to work with Eddie and hoping that he can get out of the Navy as soon as possible so we can get back to work as well. Absolutely. Yes. Eddie, what, what, what would be the quickest and best course of action for you right now? to end it the way you want it to be ended. To let me retire November 30th. Without this board, no Without taking the, the trident. And this is something the commander in chief, of course, through his, through his prerogatives, has the ability to do. Yes. All right, well, the fight continues. We'll keep you posted. It'll be interesting to watch. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for Thanks your service. Lot, Tyler, as well, for bringing this story to us. On Thank Fire you for Sports. yours. Thank you.